builds a dream home. And all they dreamed of was the biggest private house in America. They even invited a documentary crew to watch them build it. But as everyone who builds a house knows, plans can come back to haunt you. ABC's Matt Gutman went to see them. And now we're going to take a look into the largest home in America. Welcome to Versailles. So here's our grand entrance. Not bad. It's the McMansion supersized, 90,000 square feet, big enough to fit two 747s. We have two movie theaters. Oh, that's the observation deck. The bowling alley is downstairs. This is our sushi bar area. People say, oh, why do they need nine kitchens? Are there nine kitchens? Yeah. Jackie Siegel, the queen of Versailles, did mention the six pools and the segways to get around. She's starring in a documentary premiering Friday about her family's quest to build the biggest home in America. Oh my God. Filmmaker Lauren Greenfield's cameras caught it all. The eight kids, five dogs, one taxidermied, and the family's financial decline. The market fell over 700 points. I would say it's touch and go right now. We don't talk about financial problems. This is almost like a riches to rags story. The film brought Greenfield a claim and a libel suit from the king of Versailles, David Siegel, who says he never went broke. They took that quote out of context and said, you know, riches to rags to appease the 99 percenters who don't like the one percenters. But the timeshare mogul did have to stop construction for years, even putting Versailles on the market. But Siegel's business is now thriving, as is Jackie's shopping. Oh my goodness, her shopping, Gucci, Valentino, Versace. And they hope to start building again soon. It doesn't feel big. It doesn't feel big. It still doesn't feel big. I'm a you week want to make it bigger? No, no, I don't want, I want to make it done. Make it. <laughs> Matt Gutman, ABC News, Windermere, Florida.